Cosmetic surgery can mean many things to many people, whether it's an enhancement or a correction. There's a lot involved in the process, especially when it comes to breast surgery. Joining me today to shed some light on that topic is Dr. John Wakelin from Cosmetic, Aesthetic, and Plastic Surgery. Dr. Wakelin, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Gail. Explain the difference between augmentation and things like a lift, because they're terms that I've heard, but I don't know the difference. Absolutely. Uh, breast augmentation is probably what most people think about when they think about plas uh, plastic surgery of the breast. And that is uh, a surgery that we've been doing since 1962 um, that uh, usually uses a breast implant, whether it be saline filled or silicone filled, to enhance the volume of the breast and sometimes provide a little bit of a lift to the breast as well. But can you do a lift without augmenting? Absolutely you can, and we do that often. Uh, for many women uh, that have either maybe had children Mm -hmm. um, and uh, have noticed some significant changes from that. I hate when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, perhaps maybe have lost a lot of weight, just don't have the skin elasticity mm -hmm. that they used to. We're able to lift the breast um, without adding any volume to it to try to restore maybe what they once had. You know, that's interesting that it goes back to 1962. I had Believe no it or idea. Not, yeah. And a lot has changed, I'm sure. Absolutely it has. And at this point, we know, we know a lot more. What's the best age, or is there not a definite age that's better? Well, we see women at all ages of adulthood um, coming in for uh, plastic surgery of the breast, um, particularly uh, cosmetic surgery. Uh, we always require uh, that if we're doing cosmetic surgery of the breast that the patient's at least 18 or 19 years old. Um, and for the most part, we like to uh, uh, make sure that the patient is emotionally ready to have that surgery. So you have those surgery. conversations with Absolutely we do, because there are risks with any type of surgery, and this is a commitment that they're making for their lifetime. Do you tell these women you do it for you and no one else? Absolutely I do. Yeah, I think that's good advice yeah. as well. All right, so we're talking about um, augmentation and a breast reduction really doesn't necessarily fall in this category, but that's another kind of um, surgery that you do often. Absolutely. We do a lot of breast reduction surgery because there are a lot of women that either for uh, feelings of, of self-esteem, mm -hmm. uh, being comfortable with their body, as or well as too, pain yeah. in their shoulders, neck, and back, um, will definitely benefit from breast reduction surgery. Many of those are covered by insurance, but for those women that fall through the cracks of insurance coverage, that may be something that they decide to do for their own purposes as well. But a lift augmentation probably not covered by surgery. Correct. So what kind of cost are we talking? Uh, for the most part, it depends on uh, what type of surgery you're talking about, uh, whether it's a, an augmentation with an implant or an implant and a lift or maybe just a lift. Mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, those surgeries range between five and $10,000. Would you consider it major surgery? And is there a long recovery time? Well, there is. it is major surgery because typically this is performed under general anesthesia. Um, but at the same time, many of my patients are able to be back to fairly normal activity within a couple of days. And for the most part, uh, the recovery time rarely goes beyond a couple of weeks. Is there an age where you say to folks, don't bother, it's really too risky, that you're a little too old for it? Or does, is it, it more, about, more about the person's overall health as opposed to age? It's, it's more about your overall health. Um, and uh, what I tell people sometimes, uh, they say, well, you know, am I too old to consider <laughs> this? I, I say, well, you know, don't sell yourself short simply based upon your age. A lot of it has to do with how you feel and how healthy you are. Obviously, um, safety is a very important part of this uh, whole discussion. Um, and we're always uh, very careful to make sure that a full history and physical is done before any type of surgery. And so recovery time can be, I don't know, depending on how healthy you are, other things that you do, weeks. No. Yeah, d like I said, we get back to other activity, though. Yeah, absolutely. Within a couple of weeks, most of the time, and for some of my patients, particularly with breast augmentation, many of them are back to work within a couple of days. Yeah, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, well, it's nice to meet you, Dr. Wakelin. Thank nice you to very meet much. you. All Thank right. you.